helping you today to make our boho feather keychain. Now your first step will be to stop on down to the library and ask at the circulation desk for your craft or noon packet. This has everything you need in it except for a pair of scissors. So run and grab a pair of those and we can get started. First thing you'll notice in your pack, you have an instruction sheet here. So if I go too fast or too slow for you, then you can always use this. If you notice in your pack, you have these three bundles of floss. What we're going to do is through these top loops, and you can see mine's kind of wonky, just thread your scissors through there, and we're going to snip through them on each end. Try to get through all the loops. If you don't get through all the loops, that's fine. And you do that to all three of your bundles. Then once those are cut, you can take off these papers. And what that does is that kind of gives us all uniform strings here. Now also in your pack you have this little piece of wire which for our sake we are going to call a quill. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of this string and you're going to be just tying it all the way down your quill. See how like these pieces are like that? You have these extra long kind of dangly ones, that's okay because we're going to cut those. So in your pack if you have an oblong bead like this, leave about an inch at the top of your quill. If you have one of these more flat beads, about a half inch will do. So if you can see on this one, I left about that much at the top and then you'll be good to go. It takes a little while, but I would recommend doing one no more than two strands at a time because I got impatient and did three and we, when we go to smooth it out, it looks a little clumpy. So one or two strands at a time until you fill it up. Now what I did on our example here is I picked a dominant collar and then just use the other two as accents. So whatever you feel like, you just make it a happy little feather, like Bob Ross would say. So, yay Bob Ross. So once you get your feather completely filled in like this, now you're going to look as kind of floppy and wonky like that. That's when this piece of paper comes in handy. Take out your wax piece of paper and you lay it down. And then with your paintbrush, you can use it to help straighten out the strands on your feather until you get it laying nice and flat. You don't want any of the strings to overlap because once you get that all laid out flat how you like it to be, then we're going to take this watered down glue mixture, kind of shake it up a little bit or stir it up. Then you're just going to paint over the top of your strings. It doesn't have to be really thick. All we're doing is give it a little bit of stiffness. So you're painting over the entire uh, side of your feather then once that dries, about 15-20 minutes, as long as it's not humid, then you'll flip it over and then you'll do the exact same thing on the back side. Now, once that side is dry as well, if you look, it's my artistic uh, inspiration for a feather. It could be an arrowhead or a leaf, but for this instance, it's going to be a feather. So if you are confident in your ability to trim your artwork into the shape of a feather, you can kind of use uh, my original guidelines to help you with that. So what you'll do, once it's all stiff, this one isn't, but all you'll do is you'll just trim it with your scissors to the shape of the feather that you'd like. Now once that is done, and you have it all trimmed up, and it's best if your scissors are sharp, otherwise it'll give you rough cuts on the end. That's when you'll take your bead, just thread it over the top, like that. And then once that's on there, you'll take what seems like a random piece of yarn in your bag, but it really isn't, and you'll thread that to the loop at the top. And then once that's threaded through the loop at your top, you'll take your pom-pom, which I watched a lot of Netflix while I made these for you guys, so uh, don't tell my boss. Once that's connected, what you'll do is you'll take this and I won't do this for now since it's not attached. Once that's threaded through, then you'll just take it across your pom-pom and you'll knot it. Get a little bit more even. Like this. And it'll take a couple little squeezes to get it through all that yarn. But then just pull it tight until you feel like you can't give no more. It'll make your pom-pom look kind of wonky, but don't worry about it. Knot that a couple times. Don't cut the yarn, the yarn trimmed yet. And you can fluff your guy around there a little bit more. You can fluff it more at the end too. But then once that's done, 
you'll take your keychain. Now, if you want to, you can thread it through the, uh, the wire here, or you can just tie it across here. For our sake, and for time's sake, I'm just going to thread it through here. You're going to tie that with these extra strands and tie it pretty close to the pom-pom so it doesn't dangle because you want this kind of tight close to it. Knot that a couple times and that'll get you there. And that's when you can trim these, tr these strings up. And then once those are all connected, you'll have your boho feather keychain. And your finished product should look something like this. And it'll probably look a little better. This is my first try and I got a little happy with the glue so I'm a little stiff so he's He's a little crunchy looking today, but uh, see what you can do with it. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next month.